My name is Hassan Jaffrey and I'm with Dover Rug and Home. Tell us about how your business began. So the way our business began was uh, in the late 80s, my father worked in real estate. And when real estate wasn't doing well, he had a friend of ours uh, supply him with some rugs and say, uh, you know, why don't you give this a shot? And like any other business, it started off very small. He actually sold the rugs out of our garage <coughs> to close neighbors and friends. And again, as the story goes on, you know, it, uh, he became very, very good at it. He enjoyed doing it, and the business has hence grown to a, first we were in a small store in the town of Dover, then we moved to uh, uh, down the street, actually Route 9 in, in Wellesley, then even closer to where we are now in Natick. <coughs> And now uh, we are fortunate enough to be uh, in one big location here uh, where we're sitting today in, uh, at 721 Worcester Road in Natick. What obstacles have you faced, if you faced any, and how have you overcome them? I think, uh, you know, major obstacles have been, uh, you know, when the economy went down in the United States, and that was, of course, tied to housing. And as you can see, our market and our business is, is directly tied to housing because we're in the you know, home furnishings business. And during that time, you know, obviously a lot of people were buying less houses and, you know, in turn spending less money on, on houseware or interior designing and things like that. So what we did in that time is that, you know, we took over all different sorts of business models. You know, not only did we do fine oriental rugs, but we moved into carpeting as well, wall-to-wall -wall carpeting at a commercial level, at a res as a residential level, as well as different price points within rugs. So, you know, we have rugs that start anywhere from $180 and go upwards from that. So we were able to, you know, capture that market and not, uh, you know, not lose out on uh, some of that business that happened in, you know, during the tough times of the uh, financial crisis. If you could pass on one piece of advice to someone going into your industry, what would that be? I think uh, in this industry, like any industry, the most important thing is hard work. Um, it's an industry where the product is constantly changing, I think more so now than, than it has ever been. As you know, again, I've been really actively working the business the past four or five years, but everyone who I've talked to, whether it be employees, customers, or you know, other people in the industry, that's kind of what they're saying too. So it's all about keeping up with the current trends and uh, keeping up with the consumer's uh, you know, ideas and habits and uh, tastes as well. And what do you enjoy doing the most for your business? I think uh, the biggest thing for me is working with people. Uh, you know, I enjoy working with people, and as I mentioned before, you know, we work with people at all different points in their lives, and it's really nice to help people, uh, you know, put their house together. Cause it's a very, very big point in someone's life. And um, secondary to that, I really do enjoy the business aspect of it, going out on buying trips uh, with my father and going to different markets and looking at the new products and you know, hanging them on our racks and then you know, hopefully selling them. Thank you so much. Thank you.